your privacy policy is something that you need to have on your dropshipping stores, whether you're dropshipping on Shopify, Wix, WooCommerce, or any other host that lets you create your own website. This is a video that you have to watch in order to learn how to create your own privacy policies, which is good for your own protection. So even if you have no idea what these things are, or if you've heard about it, but you're not sure how to go about it, in this video, I'm gonna simplify the whole process for you and provide you with the best templates to use for your stores. Quick intro and let's go. Welcome back and let's get right to it. I know that this is not the most interesting lesson that you can learn for your e-commerce stores, but it is a must. If you're serious about your business, you don't want to get any wrong lawsuits or anything that you did wrong on your website. You didn't tell the customer exactly what his privacy policy is, what you're doing with the cookies, what you're doing with their privacy information. And in this video, I'm going to break that hole down for you. So here I'm going to introduce the best privacy policy generators, but we're not only going to talk about privacy policies, but also the rest of the policy pages that you need in your legal pages on your website. So we're going to go over all of that starting right now. One second before we get started, if you haven't done so yet, do not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to always stay updated and learn about the next step for your e-commerce business. Go to our YouTube channel, subscribe, and don't stop learning. But also while you're learning, don't also forget to take action. One has to come with the other. Now, before I start, remember that everything that I'm going over in this video, you can also learn about it in the blog article, which I'll leave a link to right below this video in the description. But I always like to throw in extra value into these videos. So of course, stay tuned, especially if you are the type that likes to watch. So privacy generators, why do we even need them? A privacy policy is a legal document that discloses what personal data our websites collect from users, from anyone who's viewing our website and how we process that information and what we do with that data, what we do with that information. Even if you have a Shopify store or a Wix store and you're not really doing anything with the customer's information, there are still things that are going on in the background from the host, from Shopify or Wix or whoever it may be. And you need to know about these things because these things need to be written in your privacy policy pages, in your legal pages. And if you go to any website, any brand, they all have policy pages, whether it's on the header menu on the top or on the footer menu on the bottom. This is something that every website has, every business needs to have for their own protection and of course for the reader's protection so we've got privacy policies and we're also going to throw in shipping policies return policies terms of service and frequently asked questions these are all very important pages for you to have but we're going to start with the most important the privacy policy so what do we need to include in the privacy policy in our shopify stores and when i say shopify of course if you're on wix it's also good there if you're on woocommerce or any other host that allows you to host your online store and have your own domain name and customize your whole website. I'm not talking about marketplaces like if you're dropshipping on eBay or Facebook Marketplace or Amazon, they all have their privacy policies done for you. But on these websites where it's fully customizable for you, you have to do it on your own. First, the things that we need to include in our privacy policies, how your website collects personal data, how your website stores the personal data, and what your customer's privacy rights are or your online shoppers or the viewers who didn't even purchase anything from your website. All of this information needs to be inside. So what needs to be in there? For example, the name, the username, the phone number, the customer's email address, their shipping address, their credit card details, their billing addresses. What are you going to do with all that information? You need to disclose exactly what you are doing and this will be a part of your privacy policy. Now, guys, do not be afraid. We've got ready-made templates. Just let me get to it, but you need to understand the importance of it first. So let's keep going. In your privacy policy, you've also got things like what you're doing with the browser type that you know that the viewer is on and their device ID, their IP addresses, the cookie data. What are you doing with the customer's cookie information, which you're, you are getting when they're entering your website? And of course, website referrals. So those are some of the things that you have to include in your privacy policy. What are our customers' privacy rights? Our customers' rights is for them to know exactly how we can edit or delete their personal information, how to opt out of cookies and other tracking tools. We need to provide them with that information and contact information for if our store users would want to inquire their privacy rights. You're going to have to be able to send it to them. Now, granted, I've been doing this for a while and no customer has ever reached out to me and asked me for their privacy rights. But as long as you have it up there, 
no one is going to ask you for it. Now, besides that, we all live in different places around the world. And with that, we all have different rules. So you need to also check locally what are the institutional laws that you have in your country in regards to your customer's privacy. Now, in most cases, you may not learn anything new here since everything will be included, but that's also something that you should know. Now, here's how to help you with how to comply with all of the countries around the world. And this is something that you all need to know. Bear with me, guys. Once again, I know it's not the most interesting topic, but you have to know this for your own protection. So stay with me and let's continue. The European Union and the United Kingdom both have this thing called the GDPR. That stands for the General Data Protection Regulation. And as long as your privacy policy complies with the GDPR, then you won't have any problems, you won't have any issues, as it will be relevant for most countries around the world. And here is the info that we need to provide in our privacy policy to make sure that it is GDPR compliant. The contact details of our Shopify business or wherever we have our selling channel. The contact details of our data protection officer's details. Categories of personal information we collect and use. This one is important. How we should lawfully process each type of personal information. So what we're doing with the information that we're getting. Our guarantee when transferring personal data outside the EU, outside of Europe or outside the UK, and how users can modify and change their personal information, like their contact details and so forth. All of this is important to have inside your privacy policy. And of course, I'm soon going to show you how you can generate these really easily for your websites. Now, in the United States, there is a federal privacy law called the California Online Privacy Protection Act and also the Children's Online Privacy Protection Rule. So, of course, we need to comply with those things if we are dropshipping to California. California has different laws than most of other states in the United States. There's also some products that you will try to drop ship to them and you'll notice that shipping carriers will not allow that type of product to be imported into California. And what this means is that websites are simply not allowed to collect personal data, personal information from children under the age of 13. So children under that age should not be shopping online and should not be using their parents' credit cards in the first place, but we will want to avoid selling dangerous items online so that children will not simply not be able to buy them, you know, take their parents' credit cards, purchase that item, and then will be held accountable for selling these products for children under the age of 13. So since we're not allowed to collect data on children under the age of 13 without, of course, their parents' consent, and we can't really control the age group who enters our website, just make sure that you're not selling anything dangerous, which you shouldn't be doing in the first place. And that way you'll be able to avoid any trouble coming from children who are shopping online. Now, Canada also has a regulation called the Personal Information Protection and Electronics Documents Act. This regulation is very similar to the GDPA that I went over a few minutes ago. You can, of course, go over it in our blog article. And you can also, of course, go to Canada's government's website and read all about that. But once again, it's very similar to GDPA. So if you are good with GDPA, you will also also be good with Canada. So now that you have a good basic understanding of what the privacy policy is, what should be included in it, now let's see what are the best privacy policy generators that we can use to quickly whip up a good privacy policy for our website and not have to hire lawyers and spend a lot of money to do that. But you do need to know what it is. You do, you do need to have the basic information, most of which I just passed on to you and continue learning, which is exactly what I'm about to teach. So we've got 10 policy generators. All of these websites can create your policies, your privacy policies for you. But once again, I told you that I'm not only going to be showing privacy policies, I'm also, I'm also going to show you how to create your return policies, your terms of service, your shipping policies, and your frequently asked questions, because this is all important things to have, not only for your own protection, but also to help you increase your sales conversion rates, get more sales and have less customers reach out to us and have them simply purchase more since they're already getting the answers that they're looking for from these legal pages. So let's start from the top. The top 10 privacy policy generators. The first is Shopify's privacy policy generator. They have one themselves. The second is AutoDS where we have ready-made templates for all of the policies that you need. And that is exactly what I'm gonna show you in a couple of minutes. The third is Termly. Fourth is privacy policies. The fifth is privacy policy generator. This is of course the name of the websites that can actually do it for you. The sixth is terms feed. Seventh is get terms. Eighth is Ubenda. Ninth is Firebase app and 10th is shift for shop. Now you can check out all of them once again in the blog article. You can also click on any of them to go straight to that section and read about them. As you see right here, you've got a nice screenshot, you've got a description, you've got their key features and what they do for you. But I'm only gonna talk about the top two. 
Shopify's privacy policy generator, and AutoDS's because this is pretty much everything that you need. You only need one of them, but I will show you both. The rest is for you to read and figure out for yourself, decide for yourself, which is the best angle for your store. Shopify's privacy policy generator. Let's click on the link and head over straight to that page. So as you see right here, Shopify today can create a privacy policy for you. Now, this isn't as copy and paste as it seems, but it is also very much like that. You're simply going to get a template where you can copy that, create a page on your Shopify store and paste the information there. But there is still information that's going to be unique to your website, which you will have to change. So it's not simply, okay, I got the policy right here. Somebody generated it for me, copy, paste, create that page on my website, put it on the heading or footer menu, and that is it. It's not that simple, but it almost is. So let's check it out. On Shopify, what you have to do is simply scroll down a bit, click, I'll skip the Shopify trial for now, just create my policy, and then enter your company information. Once you fill in all of the info, click send me my privacy policy policy and they will send it to your email address. Now you can do the same for other policies that you may need. So as you see right here, I'm going to scroll down a little bit more. And here I've also got a refund policy and a terms of service policy. So I'm getting three policies for the price of zero because it's absolutely free. So here, for example, I can click on get a refund policy and the same as before. I'm going to click on, I'll skip the Shopify trial for now, just create my policy, enter my information, click send me my return policy, and it'll get sent to my email box. But once again, there is information information that you will have to fill out inside those policies and that is made ready for you using AutoDS's ready-made policies. So as you see right here, you've got a link to each and every one of them. Privacy policy, about us, frequently asked questions, shipping policy, returns and refunds, and terms of service. That is six ready-made policies and more than what you need to take care of the legal aspects of your website and of course, cover your own butt, especially with the privacy policy. But the other policies around here, like About Us, helps the customer connect to who you are, helps them identify with your brand and get to know your story. So that, of course, is a good thing to have to increase the customer's confidence in your brand, in your business, in your website. Then you've got the frequently asked questions, which simply saves a whole bunch of questions sent to your inbox from customers who wanted to purchase, but now they have a question that they want to ask first, so they're going to ask it, and hopefully you will answer them quickly in time for them to come back to your website and purchase. With frequently asked questions, you can simply nail all these questions and answers down and give the customers the answers that they're looking for before they even have the chance to ask it, and that, of course, increases your sales conversion rates. Next, you've got the shipping policy. Your customers want to know, if I purchase from this guy's website, how fast are they going to ship it to me? And the returns and refunds. After I purchase from their website and I want to return the product, can I even do that? And how does that work? These two things are very important to have. Sometimes the buyer may not purchase from your website just because you didn't specify how fast you can ship it out or just because you didn't specify if there are returns, what is the process and how they can get refunds. Many customers are looking for this information before they purchase and some of them may not even get to the stage where they're going to reach out to you and ask you about that they're simply not going to purchase so this is something of course that you want to have on your website next you've got the terms of service of course what are the terms of the service what do i owe you what do you owe me how does all that work that is also something that's already ready for you. So let's take it from the top, the privacy policy. And as you see, I got taken to a page, a privacy policy page. And here you can see all of the information that we need inside our privacy policy. So what comes next? What am I doing with all this information? All you have to do now, take all of this information, okay, highlight all of it and right click and copy. Now I'm going to head to Shopify. So to my Shopify dashboard under online store, I'm going to click on pages. And here I'm going to create a page for every policy. Now, as you see here, I already have my privacy policy about us and so forth, but let's say you don't have any policies yet. So what you're going to do on the right side is click on add page. And I'm going to call this page, of course, privacy policy and simply paste all that information from the AutoDS website. And as you see, everything got pasted pretty well, all of the spacing, all of the bold, everything looks pretty good. The only thing that you need to do here is fill out the brackets with the right information. And this is where you need to come in. This is where it needs to be unique to every website. So here, this privacy policy describes how insert business name or website address. So in the, my example, doggy dog club collects, uses and discloses your personal information when you visit or make purchases from the site, the site, which is doggy dog club. And then you've got the rest of your privacy policy. So just be on the lookout for those brackets and enter in the right information that is suitable 
for your business. When you're done, you're simply going to click on save and that page will get created for you. Then you'll see it as a part of the pages on your online store. And then the next step is to go to the navigation menu and here in the footer menu, you can add those policies. You can add those pages. You can also do it on the main menu. You can put it anywhere you want, but I like to have it on the footer. Some people like to have it on the header. Sometimes you can have some things in the header like your shipping policies, your return policies, things that are very important for people to know. And the privacy policy terms of service and all of that can be on the footer menu. So what you're gonna do here on the navigation menu is click on the footer or on the main menu Okay, and then you can edit that menu. So I can say, okay, well, as you guys can see, I already have all of my uh, privacy and all of my policy pages set up here. But if let's say this is empty, right? The footer menu is empty. I'm going to click on add menu item. And on the name, I'm going to give it a name. So privacy policy. And then link. Link to what? what where do you want to link this to? So of course, it's under pages and privacy policy. So what I did was I just added it to my menu. I'm just going to click here on add. But I already have it here. So it's just going to create a duplicate. But that is how to add those pages to your footer menu, to your header menu, and so forth. Now what you want to do is follow up with the rest of the pages. So you've got your about us. We're going to click on that, copy all of the text, head back to Shopify, online store, pages, create a new page, call it about us, paste the information, fill in the brackets, click on save, and that page will get created for you. Back to the navigation menu, go to the menu that you want to add it to, click on add menu item, give it a name, you're creating a link now, and then link to where? So pages, about us. Rinse and repeat until you finish creating all of your pages. Now, once you have everything here generated for you, it'll make your job much, much, much easier. Now, of course, there are things, like I mentioned, that you will need to fill out for yourself, especially in the frequently asked questions. Ask questions that are relevant to your category, to your niche, to your store, to your brand. And of course, shipping policy, returns and refunds, that depends on the suppliers that you're working with. But here you have all of the ready-made templates and this is everything that you need to create wonderful legal pages for your Shopify store, for your Wix store, for anywhere else that you're dropshipping that is not a marketplace that already has ready-made policies there inside. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, let me know in the comment section below and I will personally answer them. And do not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to always learn about the next step in growing, expanding, and multiplying your e-commerce businesses. Thank you for watching and good luck with your privacy policies.